Hey, what's going on fellas? Today we're gonna to be checking out this waste oil burner design of mine in action. I got this thing running. We're in for a pretty interesting uh, experiment here. Believe it or not, this thing runs very, very well. I can't believe how well it's working. Very surprised. No significant buildup yet. It seems to be working so hot that um, black carbon isn't gonna build up. But you gotta check this out. Okay, fellas, so based on that test, this design was an amazing success as far as ignition is concerned. Look at that swirl pattern. Isn't that incredible? You can almost see the, the pattern to it. As far as buildup's concerned, I think this sucker was running so hot, it's burning it out of there. That white color is indication that we're in the clear, guys. Based on my experience, anyway. I am just astonished at the performance of this simple little configuration. Um, I do have a couple other techniques I'm, I'm gonna try. But, uh, let's take a look at that. You can see where the spray comes in this way and spins. Ooh, that baby's still hot. Look at that separation line right there. There's also a little eddy right there that would help continue the flame. I don't know if you can see that. This little zone right here would typically you would see a swirl right here. I could be wrong. See where that touch off point is? Rather than the flame sticking to the panel there, I don't know if we observe that inside here, but yeah, there's almost a straight line right there. Look at that. It travels straight past the innermost area of these people. At any rate, check that out. It looks like there's another one right here. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look like there's a, a swirl happening. That white color, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, indicates oxygen-rich combustion, superheat. It's happening right there. You can almost see the swirl. That is incredible. I almost should make that the screenshot for you guys who really know what you're looking at. That is awesome. This is gonna be gnarly. We're gonna do the old glass plate. This thing fires up so quickly that I think it might be plausible with a good preheat to get this thing hot. Set the glass on there real quick and then fire it up. It's gonna blow up all over me. 
Um, so I'm gonna have like hot shards of glass flying all over. So this is gonna take a little bit of time to uh, set up a more stable configuration. Delicious the Blair has proposed this idea, which I will also try when I find the time, because it is interesting to observe different effects. I'm not quite sure what the angle is on this one here, but this individual has provided some of the most insightful comments I've ever read. So definitely someone to take seriously. And uh, that would be an interesting experiment. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to that, but it's definitely something that I wanna try. That's just one more um, design. I also intend to um, try this different design as well. We're going to have to put that squirrel fin in there. From uh, my testing with the butane torch, from what I saw, it's just going to blow the flame straight out the end of the device. We've got to create a situation where the flame front speed is faster than the um, discharge rate at that point in the system. So we've got to produce residence time. That's what that cyclone is all about, increasing residence time. You want to boil all the water out of it. This is going to be interesting right here. I really wish I had a smarter every day here. Do a little high speed footage on this one because this is probably going to be pretty awesome. I am perceiving, however, or foreseeing that the oil is going to instantly block our view, but I could be wrong. Fortunately, I'm probably not going to have this in this video, guys, but I just want to show you what I'm up to next. This is where we're headed. The next experiment. I want to try to illustrate what I think is happening and why this thing is working so effectively. Essentially, what we're doing is we're getting a jet of high-speed air and oil vapor that is hitting this swirler, okay? And what's happening is, is a fireball is traveling this direction, going around, so to say, that jet. It's simply avoiding it. There's no curve, but it's going around it and shooting straight out the device. But it's a dual form, so if we're looking at it from behind, we have the small oil jet, which shoots down into the ramp and then spirals back up out of the device as two separate fi swirling fireballs. That's a poor illustration. Let me try to put it this way. We would have the fireball jet 
from the waste oil. One side would be on the left side of the oil jet flying out. Then there'd be another fireball that would scroll down around and go on the right side of the oil jet. So we are getting a spinning action of that fireball it looks like. Perhaps I'm wrong, but um, it appears there is a steady rotation. It's not just a single band. I think there, it looks like there is a band of fire traveling up around this jet. There are two jets. This here's a significant jet in this direction. So we also have this big flame here, big old jet flying out. But in addition to that, there is a coiled flame jet doing this on both sides of this jet. So I'm trying to do a 3D of that here. So if we've got, not exactly an artist, the flame would do this, it would come down, but it splits into two fireballs like that. Like these get bigger. But you've got this fireball here, but these are going around that. So they're not colliding per se, or perhaps they are to this point and then they get ripped apart where this fireball goes through. Man, that's the most horrible art I've ever seen, but I think that's kind of what's happened. And in addition to that, we also have another little eddy taking place right here. And it's burning so hot that this area is white hot. And that little fireball is continually igniting the burner. Same thing with this swirling jet right here, because we have a fireball traveling down and being forced back up through the point of ignition, we have flame stabilization. Typically in a jet engine, they would create this uh, vortex that looks like that, but it's a toroid. It's a toroidal vortex. I can't draw you a three-dimensional toroid, but it's a fireball that's shaped like a donut. This is a little bit different, not quite a donut more like a pretzel burner.